Greetings, fellow enthusiasts of children's card games. Uh, this is Delta, the leader of Team Aurora here, with another deck profile. Uh, but this time it is not my Fluffles we will be reviewing. It is my Ancient Gear deck. Now, this is the, uh, Ancient Gears are probably my favorite machine archetype, and also one of my favorite archetypes in general, and one of my favorite decks to run. Um, I want to let you know beforehand, though, that this deck is not very viable when it comes to tournaments and stuff. It is nowhere near completion, but I'm just going to say that this deck has won me... Actually, I don't think I've lost at all, except like twice maybe with this deck. Um, it's good in a more casual scene, uh, if that. But also, my friends are kind of retarded, and I'm better at dueling than them, so yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry everyone else on the team. But, uh, not further ado, uh, let us get into this deck profile. Now, starting with the monsters, we run two Golem and one Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound. Now, um, a lot of people don't run Ultimate Pound, and I don't really see why. I mean, yeah, it's missing the, um, the Spell Trap, uh, spell or trap Negation uh, during, the dam uh, during the damage step thing, like a uh, normal Golem is, but, um, it does piercing, uh, it can attack up to three times, and, um, the really, I use the last effect is, uh, when this card is, if this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand, and if you do, add an ancient gear monster from your graveyard to your hand, except for this card. And I find that really awesome. Uh, I want to also let you know that, uh, yes, I run level 8 monsters in this deck. No, I do not have trade-in. Am, am I retarded for doing that? Yes, yes I am. Um, people only really run stuff like Golem for, uh, their fusions, which I don't have any fusions that require Golem specifically. I don't have Megaton, but I'm going to try to get it out of the, uh, new Pegasus pack. Hoo hoo And, um, I don't have Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. So, um, that's it for these three. Then we run one Reactor Dragon, all you ever really need, but mostly it's used for a trade-in. Uh, alright, this... I'm definitely going to cut this down to two or one. Three Gadgetron Dragons. I don't even know why I have three in here. Probably because I have, like, three or maybe more in general. I just wanted to use them. Uh, really, it's just a targeting on someone with Gear Town. So you can't use the Gear Town on top of Gear Town effect anymore like you used to. Uh, two Ancient Gear Hydras. Its effect's actually pretty good. Um, especially the last effect, which is if any Ancient Gear monster you attack, it's not just this card... Uh, can't uh, they can't uh, activate spells or traps until the end of the damage step? So basically, if you have if some say you're a madman genius and you somehow have this and ultimate pound on the field, then it can be a good combo together. Also, I like the artwork; it's a really nice artwork. And then uh, one Gadgetron Chimera; it's a quick level six beater. And then finally, for the high level monsters, we have Ancient Gear Engineer, mostly just because the Ancient Gear name and I don't know. I just have that in here for no apparent reason, really. Alright, and then we... Now we're getting into the lower level monsters. Triple Ancient Gear Soldier. It's a quick level 4. Uh, base, has the basic Ancient Gear monster effect. Uh, and it can rise to a pretty high attack. Like, if you use Limiter Removal or something. Alright. And then, of course, we run Triple Hunting Hound. If you do not run Triple Hunting Hound in a fusion-based Ancient Gear deck, there is something wrong with you. Uh, normal summon, quick 600 burn, I hardly ever do that, really. Um, then, it's, and then it's polymerization on legs. It's great. Like, absolutely great. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only one of the ancient years. I was going to say, is it any machine fusion? Double wyvern, I know I should run three, I do not have three, I'm sorry. I got one from a friend and one from the machine reactor structure deck, I'm sorry. Uh, Search has any Ancient Gear card, but you cannot set for the rest of the turn, and also it has the, uh, Ancient Gear Herb effect. Also, 1700 attack isn't much to laugh at. Two gadgets. Uh, mostly I run this for when, um, I summon Wyvern, search box, effect, search gadget. Uh, but gadget can turn to any gadget, so I guess it's helpful if you're going to actually tribute summon a Hydra or Gadgetron Dragon or Chimera, but who tribute summons those, am I right? Uh, and also, its defense is pretty good, and also if you normal summon it, you can make your opponent not able to activate, uh, stuff if you can, if you attack. 
uh, one Ancient Gear Cannon, I just have it for the Ancient Gear name, but I guess if your opponent has 500 life points left, you can summon this and tribute it. And also, uh, I guess it's okay if you know your opponent runs something like uh, all the Mirror Forces or anything, because if you tribute it and use its effect, every player can activate trap cards during the battle phase of this turn. And we do not have any trap cards in this deck, uh, because we don't have Ancient Gear Reborn. Uh, one Ancient Gear box, really all you need is one. I had two in here for a while, but then I was like, nah. Uh, 2000 Defense, also, uh, I just search it with Wyvern, it also lets me search something like, uh, this next card, Ancient Gear Knight. It's a Gemini, uh, it's Gemini effect is the, uh, basic Ancient Gear effect. I don't ever Gemini summon it, or, yeah, I call it Gemini summoning, even though it's normal summon, normal summon, or just special summon, normal summon, I guess. But at 1800 Attack and Beater, you can search it with Box. Also, you can search Gadget with Box. I like searching Box with a Wyvern and then some other Ancient Gear, um, instead of Gear Yager, because, say I have a Hunting Hound, or a Folly Power Bond, or something in my hand, I can just go, Oh, did I do that? Search, search, and then boom, that's an immediate, uh, chaos. Alright, and speaking of Gear Yager, uh, we run one Gear Yager, uh, it's basic searcher for any level 4, or, uh, uh, Earth Machine type monster. And then finally, we run two card troopers. You can get to 1900 attack beat stick uh, per million of the top three cards of your deck. And also, you get to draw one card when it's destroyed. So, yeah, it's pretty great. Alright, that is it for the monster lineup. A lot of monsters, I know. And now we go on to the spells and traps. Or, should say the spells. I'm just gonna put these to the side. Fusion spells. Power Bond, Poly, Overload Fusion. Do not scout me. I do not have Ancient Gear Fusion. I am sorry. I have not bought the new box or anything. I do not have it. And, like, yeah. I'm not even going to ask my parents for it because it's, like, for the card in general. Because it's, like, $20 online. I'm like, oh my god. I know it's a good card, but Jesus. Now, anyway. Overload Fusion. It's free for fusion, except for or, uh, dark machine monsters, and also it's not you can only, you can use more than one per turn. Everyone knows what Polly does. Everyone knows what Power Bond does. Power Bond is pretty great if I summon Chaos Ancient Gear Giant because it is affected by that, unlike other spells and traps. And so it's a nine thousand attack beat stick. So say Chris or someone <laughs> uh, summons Zark, and I can just go, oh, you had Zark on the field? Nope. 5,000 damage. Yeah, I take 4,500 at the end of the turn, but it's worth it for 5,000 damage from attacking a 4,000 monster. Uh, two cybernetic fusion supports. It's for both Power Bond and Poly. I'm definitely going to lower it down to either 1 or even 0. I don't know. I had that in here since I didn't have Overload Fusion. I guess it just stayed. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. You have to have your life points. Uh, two Gear Town, and then two Terraforming to get to those Gear Towns. Everyone should know what Gear Town does by now, blah blah blah, you get to special summon a monster when it's destroyed. And both players can, um, normal summon Ancient Gear monsters for one less tribute. So, I guess you can, like, normal summon Chimera or something like that. Sorry about the sniffling and stuff, my allergies are absolutely terrible right now. But yeah, Gear Town, like I said, you can't do the, uh, place Gear Town and then place another Gear Town on top of it to, uh, activate the effect and destroy it, but that's what... This, one of these next cards is for. Ancient Gear Fortress, I run two. But most people only run two, and sometimes three. Uh, opponent cannot, it, uh, targeted, or cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects, and you cannot, they cannot activate effects, uh, or cards in response to the activation of Ancient Gear cards and effects. Uh, when, during the turn that they were normal summoned, or Ancient Gear monsters were normal summoned. And then, uh, if this card is destroyed, all in the Spell and Trap Zone, you could just, uh, Special Summon Ancient Gear Monster from your deck. I don't know, but is Special Summon from your... From your hand or graveyard? I thought it was their, your deck for a second, but no, that's Gear Town. Uh, it's good. Both of this and Gear Town are good with this next card. Ancient Gear Catapult. Most people run two or three. I have one, sorry. Uh, but I feel like I only need one in this deck. Uh... Pop up a face up card while you control no monsters. <laughs> gear Town or Ancient Gear Fortress. Special summon a monster. You pop Gear Town or Ancient Gear Fortress. That's another special summon. Also, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Pop a card, face up card in the field. <laughs> another Gear Town or Fortress. Uh, 
banish this card from the graveyard, summon an Ancient Gear token. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty basic. It's a special summoning thing. Uh, Machina Armored Unit. I never see anyone run Machina Armored Unit in anything anymore, except for maybe Cyber Dragons. Uh, mostly because they kept it from the structure deck. Machina Armored Unit, uh, when, uh, once per turn, when a machine type monster, you, you can, um, can control left. Once per turn, when a machine type monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the, your graveyard, you switch some of the machine type monster from your deck who, uh, with the same attribute and less attack. Uh, I prefer if it was equal or less attack, but I mean, hey, it can get you something like a Wyvern out if you're like the Golem or Chimera or something was destroyed. One Ancient Gear Factory mostly just to summon the higher level monsters since they don't have trade in. I actually prefer summoning those monsters. Uh, Ancient Gear Workshop helps me get stuff for my fusion plays if I don't have overload fusion. And also, it's just good to get a monster back to your hand. Two spell gear, I'm definitely going to drop it to either one or zero once I get some new cards for this deck. Um, send three ancient gear cards you control to the graveyard, <laughs> fortress, and stuff like that. To uh, special summon up to three ancient gear golems, uh, not up to three, one ancient gear golem from your hand and one from your deck, ignoring the summoning conditions, and you cannot normal summon uh, or set until the end of the end of your next turn. And also, destroy all monsters you control other than those golems. Uh, so, it's pretty bad, honestly. Like I said, I'm going definitely going to take it out. And then, finally, uh, we have one limiter removal. Because, yeah, if you don't run a limiter removal on a machine deck, there's something wrong with you. I right, finally, the extra deck, since there's no side deck. Triple Ancient Gear Howitzer. I would run more if I could. This card is just absolutely amazing um yes it's a level eight with uh 1800 defense and 1000 attack put it in defense mode unaffected by other cards effects and during your main phase you can just burn the opponent for a thousand and also if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can supposed to summon any ancient gear monster from your deck ignoring the summoning conditions i typically prefer to summon uh golem ultimate pound mostly ultimate pound uh, but if it comes to it, I'll summon React. Actually, I summoned Reactor Dragon last time I used Howitzer's effect because I finally had it. And uh, also, you could summon, I guess, Gadgetron Dragon, the three that are in here. And so, overall, this is an amazing card. Never run an Ancient Gear Fusion deck without it. Heck, never even run any normal Ancient Gear deck without it. Just add a freaking Power Bond or something in there. And finally, since I don't have Megaton or Ultimate. I have Chaos Ancient Gear Giant, 4,500 attack, 3,000 defense, must first be, uh, must be fusion, so it cannot be special in my other ways, it requires 4 Ancient Gear monsters, uh, unaffected by spell or trap effects, amazing, uh, your opponent's monsters cannot activate their effects during the battle phase, this card can take all monsters your opponent controls once each, and it does piercing battle damage, you summon this card, you win, that's how, that's the slogan for every Ancient Gear player ever, you summon Chaos, you win, especially, Power bond chaos. There is an even higher chance of you winning. Like literally, defense position monsters aren't safe. Attack position monsters aren't safe. Um, unless you, uh, unless your opponent has something like five heads or dragon master knight or dystopia on the field, and it has like five thousand or, or more attack, then literally you're a mate. You're you're you win. You just win. And besides, you can get over stuff like that with <coughs> power bond. Because you're not always going to summon it with uh, Overload or Poly. You can summon it with Power Bond and have a 9,000 attack of Beat Stick that can attack all your opponent's monsters, does piercing damage, un is unaffected by spells and traps like Miracles, anything, and also can make your opponent's monsters unable to activate their effects during the battle phase as if it were like a Meteor Burst or something. So overall, an amazing card. Never run an Ancient Gear Fusion deck without it. Just like Howitzer. And then, of course, we have the token. And so, yeah, that is it for the Ancient Gear deck profile. Uh, once again, I know it's absolute horseshit. I really, really need to work on it. Uh, right now, I'm shuffling it so I can get everything organized again and so it's not all clumped together and I don't get bricks next time I duel. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. 
uh, if it's even at least somewhat decent for a casual plays, which I don't even really think it is. Uh, but yeah, that is it for the Ancient Gears. It is, like I said, this is one of my favorite decks of all time. Um, I remember I first experienced Ancient Gears because I was... I had gotten a triple machine structure deck, uh, thing. Oh god, the entire- everything froze. Everything just froze. <laughs> Alright, sorry if everything is frozen there. But, um, I had a triple machine booster box set that came with three structure decks. I got my Machina Structure Deck, an Ancient Gear Structure Deck, and a Cyber Dragon Structure Deck. And you want to know how old that those Structure Decks are? Yeah, when they came out, Cyber Dragon Nova was new. And it was featured in the Cyber Dragon Structure Deck. Cyber Dragon Nova was new. Let that sink in. Uh, but uh, it, it didn't even come with freaking Chimera Tech Ova Dragon or any Chimera Tech monster, which is pretty bad. Uh... But I have Ova Dragon now. It only came with Twin Dragon and Nova as extra deck monsters. And uh, Ancient Gear 1 didn't have any extra deck monsters. Machina Fortress, di or not Machina Fortress, Machina Deck didn't come with any extra deck monsters. Because I don't think there's any Machina extra deck monster. Came with Machina Force though, which is pretty bad. But yeah, so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Delta Leader, or Aurora, uh, Aurora Leader Delta signing off.